Hey YouTube, this is Julie J. End of January, it's time to get started on that Green Thumb Hustle, so let's get started starting some seeds. You ever have issues with getting them to germinate, pop through the soil, low germination rates? This is going to end that for you. Just follow. So we're going to start off with a couple of pieces of paper towel. You want to get some hydrogen peroxide solution, 3%. You can find this anywhere, especially Dollar Tree. You want those little bottles would just be just fine. You want to get it to just about to feel capacity, if not a little bit more. It needs a little extra just to hydrate those seeds. You're going to want to use seeds that are not too small. You'll see coming up here, there'll be some pretty small seeds. I wouldn't do anything smaller than that. So no mint, no lettuce. Stick to larger fruit or vegetable seeds. All right, we're going to scatter these across the paper. You're going to want to spread them out a bit. You don't need to use the whole pack, but since I'll be selling a few of these, if not probably a few dozen, I'm going to do a few extra. Also, it doesn't hurt to do a couple extra, but why waste? Now we're going to slide this right into a zippy. It's not airtight. So for those seeds that take extra long to germinate, you're going to want to definitely check up on the moisture level. But generally, they will pop within a day or two, if not up to three or four days. Anything longer than seven, you really don't want to keep because it would be considered be bad genetics. You really don't want anything slow to germinate. You want fast growth and fast harvest particularly a larger harvest. These are some white currant tomatoes. These are a cherry type. These are super small seeds. I would not do anything smaller than this. My fingers are fat and foamy, so it is what it is. If one uses good seed stock, one should get at least a 95% germination rate, particularly if you're using good seeds from, say, Baker's Creek or anyone else that's reputable. Disclaimer, I do not get paid by Baker's Creek. And 10 Baker's Creek, send me some free seeds, will ya? Anyways. The reason I use peroxide is to kill off any potential bacteria or mold spores that could have go floating in from the air. Or any other surface. You put something wet in a warm, sealed area, it's gonna grow or compete with your plant. You don't want that, so. It's completely harmless, it's not gonna hurt you, it's not gonna poison you. It's not going to hurt the plants. It breaks down into water in a few days. You go, the half-life is less than a day. You might want to use gloves so you don't get the white fingertips for a single day or so. Another thing, folks, do not forget to mark your bags of seeds so you don't forget what's what. Especially if you're going to be selling them or giving them away. You want to make sure people get the right kinds. Also, if you think this has been useful or helpful... Please subscribe, especially give it a like and comment below if it's been helpful or if you have extra tips you want to share, that'd be more than great. Once you're done doing all this, you want to throw it on top of a warm spot like a top of the fridge.